Callaway are a golf company that are renowned for making fantastic drivers. They've got four out at the minute. What I want to know is which is the best one and more importantly, which is the best one value for money? Let's get into it. First up, we've got this one. So this is the X-Series. This is like the base model out of the four drivers that I'll be using today. Non-adjustable, which is interesting. Uh, most drivers nowadays tend to have at least a loft sleeve. Here's something that Callaway's saying about this driver. Built to generate ball speed for long straight distance, the VFT face is designed for speed and forgiveness, which leads to consistency. Consistency comes from the golf, we all know that, not necessarily the club. Precise centre of gravity positioning promotes better ball flight, so I presume that will have a bit to do with gear effect and stuff like that, so making sure that centre of gravity is well positioned in the place where it needs to be. Standard Callaway X-Series grip, head cover is included. The shaft in this one is a Project X 6.0, so it's a good quality shaft for your money and all that equates to 169, so very reasonably priced. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test all four of these drivers against each other. We will then compare the data at the end, see which is the best and which is the best value for money. So, I need to shut up now, I need to hit some shots. X series first. So we are on the flight scope this morning. The only compromise that we have to make slightly is that we use range balls here at Kingswood Golf Center. So I have changed the settings on the flight scope to range ball settings instead of a standard golf ball. We are outdoors as well with the settings. So, let's go, five shots with each. That felt good. All of these coincidentally are set at 10.5 degrees and I've got the specs of the shaft as similar as we could have got it here at Kingswood. So it should be a pretty fair test. That's a bomb. Feels quite nice this actually. A little bit left that one, pretty straight in flight though. Slightly higher that one. Right, that's five shots done with the X-Series. Quite impressed with that one. It is the XR Speed now. Right, so next up, like I just said, is the XR Speed. This is kind of the next one up on the ladder price-wise and performance-wise, according to Callaway. Unlike the X-Series, it is adjustable. We have got a loft sleeve on this one. Here's what Callaway is saying about this driver. Exceptional ball speed from the new X-Face VFT. The X-Face VFT is the very latest evolution of Callaway's VFT, variable face technology, as we've come to know it. Designed to maximise ball speeds across the entire face, X-Face VFT is the lightest, most flexible and hottest face we have ever designed. This was brought out before the Rogue and the Epic Flash, which we are testing a bit later on though, so it'll be interesting to see what claims they make about those two. Carbon crown, 45% lighter crown, bit more ball speed is what they're saying. Uh, faster head speed from a refined speed step, so it was a speed step on the crown, a bit similar to the turbulators that we see on the ping. Not as protruding as the turbulators, however, but there is a bit of aerodynamics in there. Adjustable nozzle, like we've said, ultra premium shafts as standard. The shaft that this one has got in is a Hazardous 6.0. So again, Project X, keeping it with the brands very similar. Loft, again, same as the last one. Bit more technology, not that much more expensive though, this one. This one retails at 199. Let's hit five shots with this and see how it goes. Felt a bit meatier that one. Felt like they were a little bit more behind it. Slightly better grip on this one as well. That had like a Torvel, but this is like a decade multi compound, so. A bit necky that strike. I think we lost a bit of distance there. That were a good strike. That one should be up there. That's a bullet, that one. Right, that's the XR Speed now moving on to two of the big boys. We have got Rogue first, and then we've got Great Big Bertha Epic Flash next. That could be interesting. This driver employs the jailbreak technology. So here's what they're saying about jailbreak. We all know about it by now. Hourglass shaped titanium bars that are 25% lighter while fulfilling their function to stiffen the crown and sole. So on off-centered hits, we're expecting more ball speeds, which is wicked. VFT face, again, quicker ball speeds. More MOI and forgiveness from our triaxle carbon crown. 
industry leading Boeing Aero collaboration. So they've teamed up with Boeing Airlines in order to produce this driver. So there's a bit of money gone into it, probably explaining why it's a little bit more expensive. Again, premium shaft selection. In this one, we've got Aldilla Synergy 50. So a little bit lighter, still stiff flex though. All these drivers are stiff flex. This was released in February, 2018. So it's possibly one of the oldest out of these four that we're testing today. Price point at Kingswood Golf Center, we've got it at 329. Let's see how the Rogue gets on. There is a Sub-Zero version of this driver as well. The reason why I've not used a Sub-Zero in this and the Great Big Bertha Epic Flash is because the other two aren't low spinning drivers as per se. So if they were, we could test all four, but because we're looking like a similarity test, that's why I've gone for the conventional edge on this one. I need to shut up now, let's hit some shots. Another nice one there. I do like the feel of this one, the Rogue. Right then, and finally, the big boy. Great Big Bertha Epic Flash. Definitely a different noise. Definitely a little bit louder. The other three were very similar in noise, whereas this one, a little bit louder, a little bit more crashy. Oh, that's a long way right, that's a poor shot. That's a good one, that's a bullet. I know a couple of people have spoke about this driver being a little bit more fade bias, even on a neutral setting, so potentially something to look at if you guys go and get fitted with it. That's a good one to finish on. So that were interesting, definitely saw a bit of a fade bias with the Epic Flash. Let's take this data, let's go analyse it, let's see which one has come out on top and which one I think is best value for money, let's do that now. Right then, so that is all shots done with all four drivers. Let's have a look at some data now. So first up, let's look at the X-Series. We saw an average of 236 carry, 254 total. Very modest numbers for that driver. Clubhead speed 111, ball speed 150. There or thereabouts, all very good. Averaged offline 0.2 yards, which is pretty straight really, isn't it? Quite happy with that. Driver two, which was the XR series, we saw slightly more carry, so 243, 257 total, so an extra three yards. Laterally, on average, missed 7.3 yards to the left. The dispersion will always be down to me as a golfer and not necessarily the club. Club speed, club head speed, was down a little bit. That was down at 108. However, we did see higher ball speeds. So that's saying to me that either my strikes were a little bit more off-centered with the X series or the face is doing a bit more work in the XR series driver. Spin rate's pretty similar with both, both very good, around about 2.3 and 2.5 respectively. So that's them two, let's have a look at the two big dogs now, see how those stacked up. Callaway Rogue, furthest out of all four drivers, so that was a 2.54 carry, 2.61 total, laterally missed 6.6 .6 yards to the right, so again, accuracy wise, I'm very happy with that. Spin a little bit higher, however, so I'm not quite sure as to why that happened. 3,500 on average. Club head speed again, around 108, so not as fast as the X series. X series proving to be the most aerodynamic out of all these if we're going by club head speed alone purely. Uh, ball speed was up at 153 though, so a very good ball speed and efficiency for the Rogue. And then when we look at the Callaway Great Big Bertha Epic, we saw a carry of 248, so that's six yards down on the Rogue. Totals of 252.9, so about nine yards down. But most importantly, what I saw with this driver, which was very strange, and a few people who have done online reviews of this driver have commented on it as well, is it went quite far to the right most of the time. I felt as though I was trying my best to control club face. On most other swings, I did quite a good job of it. On this one, on average, I missed the target 33.5 yards to the right laterally. So, bit of a concern for me, that one. Uh, I don't know if I need to test this driver a bit more. I'm definitely thinking that I do. But just a slight concern as we're testing that. Ball speed with a good efficiency again, so smash factor's all pretty good with that. So, conclusions from this. The first three that I tested made a very similar sound. They're all very good looking, they're all very similar. I would say that the Rogue driver has got a slightly longer head. So aesthetically, if you're looking for something like that, that might be the one that you go for. I did like the feel of the XR series, and I'm going to pick that as my best value for money, although it wasn't necessarily the longest. Very good looking driver, very good to control, felt very good, it's got a great shaft, great shaft options. That is my best value for money one, but the one that did come out on top for me was the Rogue. So we saw a good distance, very good dispersion with it. I'll throw some dispersion circles up for you on screen right about now so you can see them. So you can see in this instance the orange one is the Rogue and the blue one is the Great Big Bertha Epic. 
you can see the Great Big Bertha Epic wanting to move right most of the time. And in this next one, and in this photo, you can see that the X series was the orange, so a little bit more dispersed. The XR was quite close to the center line and quite, and a little bit more concentrated in its dispersion circle. So that's kind of why I'm putting it out there as my best value for money. But yeah, all in all, four great drivers. Uh, one thing that I will say is that because I've tested these, my numbers don't necessarily mean that it's going to happen the exact same way for you. That's why it's so important to come and get fitted. We do fittings here at Kingswood Golf Centre. Give us a call, get yourself booked in. All the information is in the link below. And apart from that, quite happy with that test, all in all. Uh, four very good looking drivers, four very good feeling drivers, and most importantly, some good results out there. So if you have liked this video, this big Callaway driver test, please make sure you like this video. If there's anything that you would like to see me test next, so I could do a straight comparison between two drivers, I'm very interested in the Cobra F9 driver. So I'm be putting that through its tests soon. I'm going to be doing a full review on that one. And yeah, if there's anything like that that you need to see, let me know in the comments below and I will get to it straight away. I'm going to be back doing the normal upload schedule of three to four videos a week and apart from that if you haven't subscribed already please make sure you do so and until next time thanks for watching cheers